What's well, crack a lacking everybody? We're going to head into Father's Day here. We're facing the first no, aren't they first place? No, not the second place Toronto Blue Jays who are on a roll. So we're gonna see if we can actually do something with them. Um Mount Castle. Left handed pitcher. Well, Left-handed pitcher. I'm just gonna have to put Mount Castle in there. Can I put somebody else in there that hasn't played much? Um, put Austin Wins in there because it's a Sunday game. Chris Davis is on 299 homers. Richie Martin. Oh, DJ Stewart's only had 31 at bats. Um, we'll put him in for Austin Hayes. So, oh, I hate putting Valleca up in the second spot because he strikes out all the time. But uh, that works. Oh, speaking of the knuckleball, knuckleball's thrown with little or no spin. We did make one trade. I got rid of Zach Lauter. He's a young guy. I think he was like a second round pick. Just can't pitch with him. Or he's, he was doing kind of bad. And uh, I give him up for Daytime Stephen Wright. Here on MLB Network. I Should think be a fun that was Father's the Pirates. Between the, Toronto Blue Jays and the, Baltimore the Pittsburgh Orioles. Pirates. He was in AAA. Stephen Wright. 36 Major year old knuckleballer. On so. MLB Network, coming up right after this. Not a big trade probably not a trade that benefits us but I, I want to see that knuckleballer and John means Kansas born left-hander will be doing the pitching what's your take on him Dan yeah Matt his last start wasn't a particularly good one lasted five innings and ended up taking the loss he's a much better pitcher than that and I think he's looking to at least hopefully pitch into the sixth or seventh inning in this one so now into the box is Bo Bichette and we are ready for some daytime baseball. All right, so we're going to go to defensive position. Bo Bichette. And we're just going to play him usual. Oh, Kevin Biggio, look at that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do extreme right on Kevin Biggio. Vlad Guerrero, we're going to basically shift... We're going to guard lines on the infield and on the outfield, shift left, and we're going to play him deep. Um, Hernandez, extreme left, shift left. Guerrero, we're just going to basically do a shift left. And a shift left. Marcus Simeon, same thing. Shift left. Shift left. A lot of pull hitters here. Holy crap, all infield. We're going to do extreme left on him. Shift left on him. George Springer. Oh, he's... Um, we're going to play him shallow. That might get me. We're going to shift right on him because he's a push hitter. He likes to hit it to the other side, so which means he's basically laid on every ball. And that's it. I think we're good. So we actually have our ace on the mound, so we might First pitch of the AB have now. a chance of finally winning one now in, the Sunday in one of these videos. The game's first pitch is I'm taken hoping. For one. We haven't won one, well, guys, we these haven't won yet. Entering play today. They come in in the midst of a stretch where they've dropped six of their last nine. 
Yeah, Matty, yeah. this is the big one right here. Ooh. They split the first two games of this series. You want to steal one right here and be feeling good about yourself. Yeah, Dero, I think one of the things you want to do, you get to the third game, you'd like to win this series and finish it off wow. by winning game yeah, three. Yeah, they're an offensive it's force. It's always nice to win a series, whether it's at home or on the road. So this is a big one for this ball club. Now a moment as we take a look at the Jays starting nine for this one. Are, What's going to be the key for one. him today, Mark? I got that this lineup, Maddie, in Oriole Park likes to swing the bats. This place plays small. This place has a low wall. You can drive it out pretty much line to line, and there's a lot of room. To Not be where I wanted that. Show. I wanted that low. Should be in for a warm one this afternoon. Outside. 91 degrees. Our 91 first degrees on Father's Day. Go mow your lawn with your New Balance sneakers. The white New Balance sneakers that they get like all green. Swing Ooh, and a miss, and he's in a hole 2 now. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Laid on the first one, way out front on the second. Bust you in now. The wind up. Come on, Here comes the please go in. Pitch. No, too much of the plate. Down the line and right and that back was not out supposed to be inside. It two. The strike zone. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. <laughs> Exactly what he said. Exactly what he said. Caught way too much of the plate. A ball and two strikes now. He certainly Meansy. pushing the Yay. throttle and pulling it with those four pitches. Statistics class tells me I'm sitting fast. Here comes the one, two. Low and inside. Come on. Swing there the it is. Oh, the but he got a piece. He got a piece. You know what I'm going to do? One out, nobody on. Yep, but we're going to go up high in the strike zone. There we go. Up high. Too that high. misses, and we're even at two and two. Boy, not what you want coming out of the gate as a pitcher, right? You don't want to have to show all of your pitches this early on in the game, but that's a quality at bat. And what does it make you do as a pitcher? You have to use a lot of your pitches, and the more pitches a hitter sees, the better chance they have to make good contact. Oh, boy. The payoff pitch home. Yeah, he's he's doing a really good High job in the here. Air, down the right field line. Right fielder giving chase. Oh, he thank gets you. He there, and that's the second out. Batting third, the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Ready now is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And wow. the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Very surprising. Very surprising he's only hitting 272. Now here's as well. the first offering. A ball of no strikes. <sighs> Boy. Just underway in Baltimore. That evens it up one and one. I'm not very surprised. I usually have a very good first inning. Rip down the first baseline, but a foul ball. One I'll and two the, the ball, count dude. now. Into the windup and the pitch. <gasps> that good was such a beautiful pitch. Breaking ball put himself right back in this at bat. Braves, 30 and 41, 10 games back. That is such a shock, but Two you know. Out, nobody on. They lost to Kuna. Pache, their center fielder that they thought Swing was, and a liner. was gonna be Mullins is so good there, out there. And he puts it away to retire the side. Look at that. One, coming two, all three, the way from the left Jays. center. J Zero O's coming to bat. Yeah, so the first MLB inning I don't I don't really put stock in. Oh, there's no wind too, so that's good. Hyunjin Ryu, the Korean lefty, will be the starter in this one. Dan Plezak, what's oh, the word on Oh, he's not doing him? so good. Hey, this is a very unique pitcher. He is really tough to hit when runners get into scoring position, and that's one of the reasons why he doesn't give up many runs. Leading Mullins we'll is getting up there to after do that being injured and only batting 200. He's, he's clawing away. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Slow curveball at 74 in for a strike. 
And Dan Dero, the Blue Jays, as they enter play here this afternoon. They've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, five and three in their last eight games. Hey, thanks, Matty. Hey, you know what, Dero? Try to get on a kind of a little mini winning streak here. Losing the first game of this series, winning game two, and hopefully winning this series by pulling one out here today. Yeah, Dan, they were able to shower that first loss off in the first game of this series and had a nice bounce back game yesterday. Let's see if they can steal a series right here. The next 0 2 pitch to him misses outside. We win this series. That's a good victory. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at 2 and 2. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Beautiful pitch. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that one. guy off the base path. Oh, looked like it was going to go in the lower part of the zone, and it just dipped right out of there on the outside corner. That'll bring in the versatile Pat Valaika. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. His past history with Hunjin Ryu, he's four for 11. He's taken him deep once. He's very good against lefties, Palaka, but he's Not also a player that speed pitch taken for a I don't see a future. Now time to miss the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Jerry Hillsdale. You know, Dero, I think Jerry Hillsdale is a very good hitter's umpire. Doesn't give much on the edges. He's going to make you put the ball over the plate. Oh, I love me some Jerry Hillsdale. You have to come over those 17 inches. He ain't giving you anything on the outside corner, and that's the way it should be. 2 1 pitch is a cut fastball taken for strike two. So, yeah, Vleka is arbitration eligible. Got him oh, swinging geez. in the dirt. Jansen Great gathers. Great curveball. And he makes the throw to first. Malika is retired. Two down now. Next to dig in, Freddie Galvis. As he begins this one as the fourth leading hitter in the American League. He's got ten There's stolen no bases too, you could have which is very This odd. kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. There's a good Definitely fastball not. on the outside corner as you'll take But a that's look good because one. that means he's also a hey, trade this guy's piece. Dialed so he's in healthy. Right now. Two he's hitting really well, which means, ahead. you know, in a month, a we're going to trade him away and maybe we'll get somebody good. Galvis behind 0 oh, 2. No. Down 0 2. Maybe simplify the game plan right here. Get on the heater, even though he has five weapons to go to. Strike three called as he can't get and the a bat off his shoulder. Orioles Side performance retired. to begin. Inning in the books yeah, tonight. She's still showing my frustration MLB right network. there. All set for the start of the inning and standing in the outfielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Hernandez is certainly known in part for power at the plate, in particular in these types of matchups against a left hander on the mound. Yeah, because he knows that lefty can't get inside on him. What a comforting feeling you know it is as a hitter when that pitcher has nowhere to go on the inner half of the plate. And oh, I just and did it twice, it and I'm going to do it a third time. Ball oh. swung on and hit high down the line in left, and that but was, it'll get back in among the crowd. So the count holds it 0-2. Mm -hmm. Nothing in two count and the pitch. No. Okay. That should not. That's that wasn't in the strike zone. I hope. Outside, come on, fish, 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 fishy. Grounded straight into the I'll shift on the left side. Galvis is there, there we on go. the first, and there's one gone here to right start the second. Right into All right, let's take a look at the defensive alignment for the Orioles. 
And let's take a look at infielder Freddie Galvis, a guy who bounced around in the early part of his career, but his glove is his calling card, and he settled at one of those premium positions up the middle and look for him to have a big day on defense. Into the box now, Lourdes Gurriel. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He's His struggling prior too. history versus this arm. He's 0 for 7. Well, every time I hear like an 0 for, they usually the knock a homer off of me. Is taken for ball two. Oh, he went down one after the okay. foul ball there. So now we're going to change your viewpoint. Into the How about a high fastball? Ah, popped it up. Okay. Now you don't know where I'm going. Go down low, go down high. Bust you inside. Let's see. A swing and a drive sent out. Jeez, I the told you. But that'll be off the wall in All right, center. just a double. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Every hitting I told coach you. in a league uh, will tell you, for seven. Only takes I knew he's going to bat seven. to get out of a Cater slump. Maybe that's what we're seeing right here. He's been struggling, no doubt about it, but he's able to lace this thing off the wall, and he's standing at second oh, with some almost newfound confidence. Right All right. Uh, one out. At the plate, Marcus Semyon. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. And he's a guy looking to break out in That's a big way. That's really weird. Hasn't been getting the homers. results he or his club have been hoping for. And he's one of the more talented players. Ball and a strike. That's not a pitch he misses very often. He knows he should have done something with that one. Guriel leads off second with one gun in the inning. And this one runs a little too hey, far this guy's in. Not ball two. Anything. And a half swing here, but this nice. is in there for a cold strike, too. High fastball. Open Eyes to light up. Packing. Pitch on its way. Oh! And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a three two change. Gotcha. To locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Really good late That's bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Up next is Danny Jansen. As the first pitch to swung him is swung on and missed for strike one. Opportunity for him now here this to guy pick up that runner from shot. second 273 with, two away. with 11 dingers. Had a great spring training. Got the starting spot away from Reese McGuire, who was highly touted. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 2 now. On 0 2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch. There we go. Right we'll take here. a pop up. We'll take a pop up. Then the inning. Is there. And the inning is over. Ah, thank goodness. Blue Jays held in check. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Jimmy Palmer. Part time pitcher. Part time Anthony Santander, the next to bat. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. Now, Santander was one guy I was like, yeah, you know, I want, I want Mullins. I like Hayes and Mountcastle. He's ready. Here's so the first I wanted pitch. those guys. But. Taken. And, that and one I was like, yeah, Santander is strike ass. zone. His past but, history with Hunjin Ryu, he's gone two for six. He's really proving me wrong, and I'm really starting to like him. Off the plate, one ball, one so strike. So we may keep Santander around. Hit on the ground after short. Ah, the shift got picks on it up top of it. Throw to first is in time for the first down. He didn't strike out, so there we go. That is good. All right, guys, here's a defensive alignment for the Toronto Blue Jays today. 
And can we focus on George Springer, one of the more dynamic outfielders in our sport? He will leave his feet. He's got a cannon for an arm, not afraid to dive in and say hi to the fans if a ball's going near there, too. Do not test this guy's arm. That'll bring up Ryan Mountcastle as he takes a cold strike at the knees. And this guy's been a disappointment this year. With that average down in the low 230s. 11 home runs and an even 20 RBIs. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Yanked on the ground oh, down the line. But I had double all over it. This is behind 0-2 now. A one up double Nothing would have been nice. Count and the pitch. And under up. it. So on top of the first to one. Right. Under and this one. Second out of the inning. Darn it. I'm sure his eyes lit up when he saw that curveball hanging in the zone, but maybe oh. he tried to do too much with it because basically yeah. he hit it straight up. No doubt he wants that pitch back, and the pitcher I do. He just dodged a bullet. He did. Stepping in now, DJ Stewart, as he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. He always has a day off. <laughs> Ryu steps into his windup. Oh, one pitch on its way. All right. Give Bottom me that hanger, here please. No score. I want a hanging curveball again. Popped high Damn in the it. Air. Why am I popping these up? And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Jiminy Christmas. The I can't one keep two. popping these up. Is swung on and missed. Strike three. <sighs> Three up, three down for the Orioles. Here's George Springer. A couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's game. Now a fastball to start the third. That misses. It's ball one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got a fastball command go. and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Fastball, right, close, but he didn't second. get it two and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. He's right there. There we Throw go. The first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. And with one away, time for a check of the standings in the American League East. Yep. As you New, get a look, look at New York. Where these two Boy. teams find themselves entering play. New York went on a roll. They're 38 and 33 now. They got Brett Gardner back. That will be Luis Severino. Oh my God! And he can freaking hit. First offering on its, its way. Not going to be easy. In there, 0 and 1. Blue Jays pitcher with an even one and one count. Ball and two strikes. Yeah, he just wasn't on time right there. Front foot not down in time. Nothing happens before the front foot can get down. Fly ball out toward left center it. field. Left fielder giving chase. Oh. But he doesn't have a chance. It's over his head. And he's in and there easily. It's played second shallow. With one out double. He doubled up on the heater right there. First one he blew right by him. Second one, timing was on point. And he was able to get a hit. So now to the plate, Bo Bichette, as he will take strike one on the fastball. Here. Yeah, no so like I said, I, I he hit the ball hard, but lined out to start the ball game. I did change like a lot of the starting pitchers. I did and a lot of roster run. edits. So Rear, I did a runner at second with one away. Got a lot of pitchers that could hit high put a little bit. Left field. And there it is. That's, that's gone. On the oh, right track, yes. He makes the catch. Ooh. It was going to be gone again. The third baseman, number eight, Kevin Biggio. Well, not in again, next, but. Kevin Biggio flew out last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. 
Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0-2. Want another one there? Fouled off. Third inning, no score to this point. All right, wins. And uh, another foul ball. Gotcha. Missed, yes. And that's the final out of All the All right. Inning. John Means. One left for Toronto. Home half of the third coming up. No score. So good. But we got to get our offense on track. I mean, come on. Welcome back. As the Orioles look to get the offense going here in the third, this is a lineup that has had its struggles this season. Entering the day, they rank near the bottom of the league in batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging. So it's clear this is a work in progress. One player told me before the game, it's a difficult thing to go through. We're all competitive guys, and we believe in ourselves, but we're obviously not getting the results we need. Now, one coach told me that despite the numbers being what they are, he's seeing a lot of development happening. Leading so he's off. optimistic Lord about what the Orioles. future holds, especially for some of their younger players. Mike Back to you, Matt. Okay, okay. thank you, Heidi. I'm really liking these Heidi Watley uh, things. I hope they really expand on them. I like, at first it was just like, you know, they, they were like, oh, they're saying they're not hitting things and they're He's chasing ready. balls Here's out of the, the first zone. Pitch. But then, but then like during the season, she starts going into statistics and like where you're ranked. And so I'm really liking that. And I hope they expound on that. Expand, expound. Something like that. The wind up and the 0 1. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Man, if I'm on the mound right now, these guys are swinging at everything. You just want to try and paint the corners. Sinker misses, and it's 1 and 2 now. Well, this team, they're swinging at everything, but that pitch was just a little too far out of the strike zone. And he chased it in the dirt. Jansen corrals it. Oh, my God. It. And he makes the throw to first. Franco is retired. Horrible at bats. Horrible at bats. The catcher. So to get his day started at the plate, Austin wins. Win. Trying to get it going at the plate. It's been tough sledding for him so far this year. Now first Austin wins. Might Very be headed really down. A pitcher like this, leave one in a location like that. That's a pitcher right there. He'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. Orioles still looking for their first hit of the ball game. And it's quickly 0-2. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of We have Taylor, uh, Taylor down in uh, AAA who's really was, hitting well. We may bring him up. Popped up. Barehanded at his knees. Oh All my goodness, what a play. Now. That was exceptional. What a freaking play over there. Bo Bichette. So here's the Orioles pitcher, John Means. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. Wouldn't that be nice? We get we get no hit gets the sign, or a perfect game on its way. because Rio, Rio Man, his pitcher is does on right not now, walk. Any, he his does zone, not walk. Attacking people. these hitters. He's making it look easy. In front of the changeup ah. and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Here comes Ryu, 0 oh and 2. Oh my goodness, I thought I was going to be rung up. How the Certainly hell do no, I have this patience with a pitcher, pitcher, but I Sometimes don't have it with freaking everybody else? The hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. A bouncer up the middle. And of course, the first the hit Orioles is a pitcher. Have their first hit of the game. Good God. Hey, it's one thing to give up a hit to a pitcher right here. You can live with that, but an American Number League pitcher, 31. a guy who probably takes BP 10 days out of the year, this is surprising. He's going to have to bear down on No, that's wrong there, Plusek. No DH anymore. 
So we got our pitchers hit every, all, every day. Now, Cedric Mullins. As he'll take a look at ball one. He went down swinging to start the home first. Yeah, two for six with two big freaking doubles. Oh, one and one the count. So late on that one. How am I late on this guy? Two balls and a strike to the Orioles leadoff hitter. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. And he fouls this one off. Swung at something I shouldn't have. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Yeah, C and I single. I'll take it. For a base hit, and he's one for two now. Mullen. Right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in. Kept his hands inside the baseball. He ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch. The ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Looking for a curveball. Into the box, Pat Valaika, as the sinker to no. him finds the well, zone for strike ball. one. Looking for a curveball. Looking for a curveball. Oh, there was my curveball. The dirt here. We're not going to advance. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Like a, come on, man. You cannot strike out in this freaking situation. We don't have many of these situations. And the 0-2. In the dirt. Throw no. The third here. Oh, he's yes. make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Well, you live by the sword, you die by it, too. He went with an off-speed pitch down in the zone, and that's the risk you take there. The catcher can't come Just up need with a single, and buddy. Two Just advance. need a single, now and we'll have two runs. In the scoring position. Two runs. We'll have two runs. We just hit a single. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Jansen has it throw to first, and that gets him out of the jam. Like, uh, so it's no runs down. on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. New inning set to get underway, and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. settles in at the plate. I know we're not seeing a lot of offense in this one, but there's still some game left. I'm looking to see these guys, both offenses. No, make some don't show the line that he's do, he does bad against Blaka, or he does bad against Means, because that means he's going to freaking hit a homer. Is swung on and missed, strike one. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. And Corey Seager leading in. Ooh. And he pumps the fastball by Freddie Freeman, one not a shock at all. Your screen 329 is a big right one. Going Adam right Hazley is one of the better hitters on this team. 321. Not afraid to execute. Lorenzo Kane, not a surprise. Just that he's healthy is a surprise. 318. All right, this is called a backdoor slider. And let's see if we can hit it. One, two. Outside corner. Ah, we did. But Guerrero's too good. Strimsky, 19 homers. Hoskins, 18. Winker, 17 for Cincinnati. Holy crap. Crone, 17. But I think he's only hitting like 217. And then you got Muncie up there. All right. High fastball outside. Oh, and that was not high. This guy's high. a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones oh, just Winker, off the 60 corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. 10 over Seager so far this year. Two, Come on, two. just drill it somewhere. Oh. Guerrero's just going to freaking up my pitch count here. All right there, Vlad. I have great respect for your dad, but you got to go down on strikes. Count remains two and two. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. Foul oh! Play. You son of a beehive. The 
two, it's gonna two. be nowhere near anything. You got, oh, you bum. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Another 2-2 two -two offering. He's definitely going to want to get greedy in his own, and he's obviously seeing the ball well, or he would have swung at that pitch. Sometimes in these long, epic at-bats, you start to get into swing mode. High fastball. A swing and a ground ball to third. Oh, thank you. Throw to first in time, one gone here. Right in the into the shift. Didn't have to die for it or anything. And so after getting the ground ball with the fastball on that last pitch, that'll segue perfectly to our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And to this point, these two have topped out at 95 and 91 miles an hour, respectively. Yep, Rio does not have to throw fast. He just does not. So one out and nobody aboard. And striding into the but plate. But he's made like four mistakes that I have not capitalized off of. First pitch on its way. Yep, and we're shifted to the left. Naris with 23 saves. Lifted in the air toward Ooh. the line and right. But this will wind up being a foul ball. That would have been a triple for him. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. No offer on that one. Two balls yeah, this and a strike. Um, this ump does not, does not give any leeway. Oh, Good yes. spot for the change there, and that'll knock things up at two and two. You know, from a hitter's perspective, you get pounded in, and then he throws a nasty change up away. Is the mindset to tell yourself that he's going to go in and out all day long, or is he going to double up? That's the cat. That was we're too much right in the now. zone. Too much in the zone. The two-two. One more time. Seven nothing. Again, he sends it out of play. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Five nothing, the Rangers, and, and there you go. Missed. He's down on strikes. And Sixty-eight pitches, though. Here to begin inning number four. That was a Six. good job there of using the batter's aggressiveness against him. He was putting up a good fight and fouling a lot of balls off. So, as a pitcher, it's a great idea to expand the zone even more and make the hitter really chase after something that's even hard to foul off. At the plate now, Lourdes Guriel, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Change up. And the 0 1. Yeah, oh, wow, you missed, chased a reach. real bad one. You go down 0-2 to a guy with this pitch arsenal, you just got to find a way to shorten up and battle, put something in play. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. <gasps> oh! That was a great take, or he got fooled. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, man. Like means I'm coming. right there with you. Bet he'd be on alert for that Holy moly. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. High in the air out towards shallow right. Charging oh. in is Santander. Oh, He's there good to going, make the Santander. Play, and that'll retire the side. Blue Jays go down in order. That was a really on high pop up. Fourth now, still with no score. I'm very happy, very, very happy. Here's the first pitch. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Now the 1 0. And he turns this one around. Oh, come on. Go, 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 go. Yes. 
tie it up in one shot. Cedric so Mullen. Solo shot to dead center. Eighth home run on the season for him. As the Orioles have come back to tie our score at one. Yeah, I can remember when leadoff hitters were these little speedy guys who would try to Springer leg out little numbers almost and freaking walks. caught that, well, that too. Time Look at this. And guys like this with pop at the plate can almost go deep as well as just over his glove. Lineup. Into the box, Danny Jansen. Oh, hung one. Bye-bye. Look at this. And they have taken the lead. That was supposed to be low and inside. and A solo shot here to left. 12 home runs for him now thus far. Freaking as Jansen. Toronto has taken a 2-1 to one lead. That wasn't the plan. You just have a meeting with your pitching coach. And yeah, go right over, over the middle. Strategy, and all of a sudden, you throw one, and it leaves the ballpark. Oh, he hammered it. 107.6 in the exit velocity. Richie Martin will stay in the ballgame now as he comes on to play second here. All set to start the ninth in this one. And that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Marcus Simeon. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. On the ground to third. Bronco fields it cleanly. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Namikuchi lower in that ERA. Now batting. Number nine. Danny Jansen will stand in to try it again already with one home run of the ball game and on cue there it was back in the seventh inning a Beautiful solo shot that provided Look at that quite thing. a spark for these guys infield in the overshift here now the pitch now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. Work his ball. approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. One ball, one strike to count. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Well, too much Whoa. bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Three and one to him now. Fastball too low, and that's ball four. It's all right. Okay. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Next, it'll be George Springer. He flew out in his last A-B. Double play. Wait a minute, did I do it? Double play. Set. Here it comes. Runners on the move for second. He swings and misses. Throw down. Got him. In time as he just gets the tag down. What are well, you doing, catcher? Lead, and they're pushing to add to it by being aggressive on the base pass. But as a manager, you just hope and that was not, not a hit and run because he didn't you swing. You could have had back. Oh, he was safe. He was safe. Holy crap, he was safe. And they're not challenging it. Okay. And the 0-1. All right, so I got a bunch of pitches to play with. I got four pitches Two to play out, nobody with. On. Going up high. Chase it. Oh. Lifted down the line and left. That was not high enough. And that will end up a foul ball. Better be outside the zone. And on 0-2, he right. misses with a fastball. 
Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something. <laughs> All right, Yamaguchi. Right here. Don't worry about it, buddy. Settle down. You want, that was a chase pitch anyways. Here comes the one two is laid off for ball two. I know he missed with a fastball right there but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. A bouncer to the left side. There is Franco. Throw to first beats him easily and the Yamaguchi side is does a great job out of the pen. Down in order go the Blue Jays. And All right, Santander, Mountcastle and Stewart. Lead. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. And this is why I I got rid of the DH. I Shane love Romano double switches. Comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. 1.52 here. 25 out of 27. 196 right-handers, 150 left-handers. Jeez. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And coming forward is the switch hitting outfielder, Anthony Santander. Hey, not an easy thing to do to try to come back and Oh, this pitch in motion is going to piss me off. A guy like this, one of the game's elite closers. First pitch coming, here it is. Borderline pitch right there. But as a low ball hitter, you can live with that as long as the umpire doesn't give him north as well. One and one. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0 and 2. Didn't get it though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on one and one. Now here it comes. Fouled away. Here comes the one two misses ball two. All right. Great. Great ball on the outside. Quality at bat. Here now the two two swing and a line drive. And there we go through with a solid knock here. His first of the ball game. Go back so back back get their leadoff man aboard to start the inning and they'll get the ball back in quickly holding him to a single. The leadoff hitter finds his way on base. Six. Should be interesting to see the cat and mouse with the manager. Does he use the bunt right here? Do we put a little hit and run on? Do we go old school, new school, and just let him swing away? Should be interesting. Number 54. Well, come on now and pinch run here. All right. Stepping in now, Ryan Mountcastle offered at and missed. Here's the throw. Oh, no. Out. Nice play there to pick the throw and put the tag on quickly. Well, he tried to turn a single into a double by stealing second on the first base. No, that was supposed they to be a hit and run. Good catch and throw from behind the plate, and it's like that base hit never happened. That was supposed to be a hit and run. Oh, well. Ball one. He missed it. One out, nobody on. Helping him out here as he swings and misses to fall behind a ball and two strikes. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball. You could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. And very little resistance there as he's retired on a half-hearted swing, and there are two away. Oh, man, he's been absolutely yeah, getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. 
So clearly this pitching staff they figured out how to attack this bases. guy. We'll Mark see if Tate he can 13. make any adjustments. DJ Stewart is in with two away as he takes a ball 1-0. and Pretty good pitch right there. Mookie Fastball Betts in off 12. the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. The 1-0. Fans on their feet in a one-run ball game in the last of the ninth. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Baltimore down to their final strike. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. All right, come on. Stewart's doing okay. The last two at bats. This bat in the last one. Hit softly. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on. Go, 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 go. And Throw yeah. On the first is going to be in time, and the Blue Jays have taken well, the rubber match of this three I got to say, you know, I got no strike zones, got no guest piss, got no, none of this, and I'm playing on diff high difficulty level. There you go. So it's just, uh, you know, to me, this is a small victory. Picking up 11 strikeouts along the way. Jordan Romano wraps it up for the save, his 26th. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plesak, and, so, and, Heidi and, and Matt you know, we had one we bad for watching mistake. Major League Baseball on MLB Network. That See you one next time. Beautiful freaking Mullins. Oh, Springer almost grabbed it. And then Jansen, we had that one mistake to Jansen. Really. Mount Castle just had a horrible at bat. And then there was the Dinkadoo. I was hoping that Romano would throw it away. That would have been beautiful. That would have been a nice thing. Guy on second, two outs. Uh, yeah, Tanner Scott had that one freaking. Supposed to go low and outside with the fastball, and it just stayed up. So. I mean, and, and, but the big thing here is uh, two hours, three walks, eight strikeouts minutes. for the Blue Jays. Thank you for joining Jansen, us four caught stealing. I don't know. And I'm going to have to look at Jansen and see what his base uh, aggressive is. Lower it. Um, but us, no walks and 15 strikeouts. That's horrible. That is horrible. And that stout, oh, that Stowers where it was supposed to be a hit and run, and I just, I totally missed it. Means five and two thirds, only three hits allowed, one earned run, one walk, four strikeouts, great. But then the bullpen outside of Yamaguchi now is 6.11 ERA. I mean, Armstrong did good. Armstrong did good. But uh, Scott, I probably left him, I probably left him in a little. I don't know. But we're going to make some roster moves here before we go away. Balling is a habit, huh? I don't know what that is. All right. So, uh, sim through date. Um, we're making some changes. We put Austin wins down to triple A. We brought up. Uh, we brought up Taylor Davis, who was hitting 256, doing pretty well down there in AAA. Uh, and he can play first base as well, so he can, he can um, because Trey Mancini is out for quite a while, he can spell Chris Davis and Mountcastle. Um, we benched uh, Valaka, Valaka uh, and of course he could play, he could come in uh, and play any position like second third short left and right um and Urias is just a middle infielder uh but uh 
I think he's a little bit, yeah, he's a little bit better at fielding. So you see the 55 fielding, you see the 64, the reaction, 62, 63, not bad, but, you know, he's, I just think uh, overall he'll probably be better. He's got, he's, he's a contact hitter, doesn't hit for power, but uh, better contact pitter, hitter, um, a little bit more vision. Well, no, no, he doesn't. But I just, I don't know. I just think he'll be, he'll he'll be better than Valleca. I just maybe it's because I can't hit with him. But uh, so we'll put Urias down there, um, and then let's look at our new addition to the pitching staff down in Triple A, Stephen Wright, thirty-six-year-old pitcher out of California. He's got that knuckleball, sixty-nine miles an hour. Nice. Um, we will be playing. Um, who are we? Oh, who are we facing? Griffith Canning. You know what? I might. I might change that to put Otani in there. I think I'll put Otani in there. Um, and Matt Harvey. Oh, which oh and six five point three four ERA. Holy crap! <laughs> 